why the question why I create has to go down to my past, like so I'll just but I'll just make it short. Okay. So it's more of like when you're a child and you don't know what you want to do with your life, you and like you have and like and like you kinda of have this mindset of a purpose to mm-hmm. do something no one has ever done. So then you just have to do what you can to like to be honest my goal the main reason why i'm here i'm trying to impact souls like i tell myself daily like before i get to die or anything i should at least have nothing less than five thousand people that could come out and say that i impacted their lives in a way so the main reason why i create is to share my ideas to impact lives yeah that's in short mm. what that kind of reminds me of is an old proverb i'm not sure if it was a jewish proverb jewish proverb but it says every man should do three things before he dies one thing is to have a child the second thing is to grow a tree and the third thing is to write a book because all those three things will outlast him and i feel like that's a similar sentiment uh that you are going for when you create is that correct yeah something like that more like that yeah I, should, I feel like I should also ask, uh, where are you from? I'm from Lagos, Nigeria. Hmm. Yeah, Lagos, Nigeria. Lagos, Nigeria. How can you, uh, what can you uh, say a little bit about uh, where you're from? Um, okay, so it's more like, okay, it's just more like the craziest city that I've ever known in the whole of Africa. Like, they're beautiful, but, um, the people there just if you just like okay so just like this lagos nigeria is just a place that when people see you're serious with something they'll go out of their way to push you and mm. make sure you're successful they'll go that's how it is they will go out of yeah. their way to push you to make sure you're successful of course that's okay. how it is in lagos because lagos is more like a city where people come to hustle it's just like new york you know Everyone comes to hustle in Lagos. People from different cities, like different cities, everyone is coming to Lagos to be able to be successful because there's a rumor in the in Nigeria that says if you're not successful in Lagos, you can't be successful anywhere else. So mm. because Lagos gives you every opportunity you need to be successful. So if you're not successful where you have all the old opportunities in the whole earth, then it's on you. That means you probably just can't be successful so that's uh, it okay i feel like we might get back on that can you explain the works that you create in seven words <sighs> okay so the current one is a story concerning angels and demons and the angel was sent down to save the earth oh uh, what title was, is that no. what's the what's the title of that one um, fallen giants, fallen giants. If you look at my um Facebook, you see I've posted posters of it. It should be out by next week. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's good. Like, uh, do you, is that the, the your first manga or uh, comic that you're creating? Yeah, it's my first. Like, I've been doing manga for a long time, but like this is the first one that I'm making for myself. Mm. Yeah, so, yeah. Okay. What was the inspiration for this one? To be honest, I was just praying. Like, you know, as a Christian, you believe that you get inspiration from God, right? So mm-hmm. I, I was just praying. And then while I was praying, I just had something in my mind, a Bible passage, which was Genesis 6, verse 4. And then I went to look it up and then it was about Nephilim. So I felt, oh, maybe my spirit wants me to create the manga concerning Nephilim. So then that's just how I started. And then I called my script writer. It's like, what can you make about Nephilim and all and all and all. So then she she actually did something good. So like, I'm still working on it though. The first chapter is what will be out next week. And then about two more chapters will be out before the new year. Okay. What's your, can you explain to me your history with uh, Christianity? <laughs> my history um i feel like when you're christian like you're not left alone like you know normally 
okay, let me be honest with you. Like, 2020, 2021, 2022 were the most depressed life of was the most depressed time of my life. Like, I was so depressed. I felt alone in my mind, everywhere. I felt alone. So, like, now seeking God and then, I don't know, just it just gave me different orientation to life. Like, I felt I was never alone. I felt this whole with someone look at my back. Like, like you know, like there's a time in life when you're looking for something and then you feel clueless because when I was trying to make this manga, right? Mm -hmm. My publisher already told me, come on, Daniel, you have to get something out before the end of the year. And I was like, I don't know what to do. I brought out an idea before it got scrapped out. And I was like, so then I just took months trying to think down until my heart just told me, why think when you have someone up? they will lose all things so that i just started to pray like for two hours or so i just started to keep on praying and then just came to my head like a spark and it saved my life it saved my life yeah mm. Same show, okay. okay okay i guess uh, i can move on a little bit and ask yeah. what do you want to see more of in your field uh diversity yeah just diversity like shonen manga is everyone knows the way it's gonna be everyone just knows the main character is gonna be a character who's stubborn and who's always trying to how save everyone blah 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 and then there's always a character who has healing powers who's useless you know <laughs> just like mostly like sakura like you know what i'm saying like mm -hmm mostly people people don't really like sakura because she they think she's useless you know so all those type of things when you look at a shonen manga you see those things but then for me i'm trying to create something different like i don't just want my characters to be the way every other character has been like overpowered or some shit like that i want you to be like he has a source of strength but he loses the source of strength so he's the he has to be the normal person, mm. but still have to overcome everything that comes his way. So, like, especially in Lagos, Nigeria, right? When everyone is doing manga, everyone is basically just doing like a copy of what Japanese people have done. Demons, 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 everyone fighting demons and all. So, like, that's getting too common because almost everyone now is doing something like that like the fighting monsters almost everyone is doing something like that so i just really want diversity in a way like okay so like you know some people actually see diversity as a different thing some people see diversity as making okay so because i make an arabic character that doesn't mean i'm being diverse you know mm -hmm. because i make a character that's indian that doesn't mean i'm being diverse and i see a lot of companies coming out there actually putting that as diversity saying that's diversity but that's not diversity that's just using human beings as your character like you can't use a human being and call it diverse you know yeah you can't have you can't have naruto and shade him a different color and say that this is diverse right i feel yeah you're, exactly. that's what I'm saying. <laughs> i i see you're uh more of the diversity of thought than the diversity of skin and exactly. i can i can agree with that i can i feel like a lot of people agree with that of course they, of course they have to because i'm not going to mention names but there's this company who keeps on coming out like boom first black character boom, oh. first arabic indian character boom and i'm like you can't tell us to read your manga because it's an indian character mm -hmm. or it's a black character okay so most people will barely read the manga just so they don't feel racist about themselves because if they don't read the manga, they'll be like, oh, are you racist? That's why you're not reading the manga that has black characters. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not still going to mention, I'm tempted to mention names, but nah, I don't want trouble with anyone. So like, yeah, diversity should be in the mind and story, not characters. Yeah. 